This series of videos will cover all of the features in Contact. We'll continue with loading and creating instruments, loading and creating instrument banks, the on-screen keyboard, and the master editor. Loading and creating instruments. To add an instrument to your multi, you can drag it from your desktop or the browser into an empty space in the rack to add it. Or you can drag onto an instrument header to replace that instrument with a new one. You can also use the load command in the files menu. And if the option browser double click loads instrument is enabled, you can also load instruments by double clicking on them in the browser. To create an instrument, you can use a new instrument command in the files menu, which will add an empty instrument based on the default instrument template. To create a default instrument, save an instrument using a save as default instrument command in the files menu. Just keep in mind that that option isn't available until you enter instrument edit mode. You can also create an instrument by dragging samples from your desktop or the browser into an empty space in the rack. Contact will add an instrument based on the default instrument with the samples spread across the keyboard. If you do this with a WAV file that contains slice markers, Contact will all also switch the instrument to beat machine mode. Samples missing dialog. When you try to load an instrument whose samples can't be found, the samples missing dialog will pop up. This allows you to help Contact locate the missing files. Once the files are found, you can resave the instrument with the, co with the correct references. The top half of the Samples Missing dialog displays a list of all the samples and their expected locations that are referenced in the instrument, but cannot be found. In the lower half of the dialog, Contact provides a number of commands that will either search for the missing files automatically or allow you to specify a new location manually. Search file system. This will search for missing samples on all of your hard drives. Depending on the size and speed of your hard drives, this process may take a very long time. Search database. This will search for the samples in contacts database. It will then use the found records to locate them on your hard drive. During database rebuilds, samples might have been picked up that have been moved. If this is the case, the sample location can be retrieved from the database. This option requires a correctly built database that has been configured to include sample data. Search Spotlight. This uses a spotlight search to find samples. By default, all options search for file names only. This can cause contact to locate the wrong sample. By enabling check for duplicates, this will make contact search more thoroughly for duplicates, but will also take more time. Browse for folder. This allows you to specify a folder and its subfolders that contact will look looking for missing samples. Browse for files. This option will allow you to locate each missing file manually one at a time. If the Resolve All Possible option is enabled, Contact will look for all missing samples in the location that you specify via the Browse for Folder or Browse for Files option. If it's disabled, you will be asked for a location for each missing file separately. Once you select the search action, 
Contact will start the file scanning process. During the scan, the missing sample list will get smaller whenever a sample has been successfully located. Once all of the samples have been found, the dialog will disappear and the instrument will be loaded into the rack. Verify that the instrument works correctly and resave it to keep the changes. If there are still missing samples, the samples missing dialog will appear, which will allow you to try a different search option. If all the attempts fail, the samples either don't exist on your system or have been renamed. At this point, you can either abort loading the instrument or load the instrument without the missing samples. Allow alternative file types. If this is enabled, it will allow you to ignore the file extension and resolve missing samples of different file types with the same name. So for instance, if you had an uncompressed wave that you compressed to NCW, you can search for the NCW instead of the wave. Keep search mode and selected folders for the current session. When this is enabled, the settings that you specify here will be used for any missing samples until you restart contact. Loading and creating instrument banks. An instrument bank allows you to combine 128 contact instruments into one slot of your rack. Only one of the instruments in the bank can be active at a time, and you can switch between them by sending MIDI program change messages. All instruments in the bank share the same MIDI channel, output channel, maximum note count, output settings, pan settings, and aux send levels. These settings are adjusted in the bank header, which appears in the rack and looks similar to an instrument header. To add a new empty instrument bank to your multi, Choose New Instrument Bank from the Files menu. The bank header operates exactly like an instrument header, except they apply to all instruments in the bank. The name display is a currently active instrument. To add instruments to the bank, click on the wrench to open a list of 128 instrument slots. Dragging an instrument from the desktop or the browser into a slot will load the instrument. The number of the slot is a program change number that will switch to this instrument. You can edit an instrument inside a bank by double clicking on its slot. Return to multi-instrument mode by clicking on the wrench. If you click on the X, it will remove the bank from the multi. Also note that modified instrument can only be saved in the bank. So if you want the changes to apply outside of the bank, open the instrument outside of the bank, make your changes, and then reload it in the bank. Instrument banks and their contacts will be loaded and saved with your multi with the extension NKB. You can load these the same way you can load an instrument. The on-screen keyboard. Contact can display a virtual on-screen keyboard that allows you to play with your mouse. It also displays key switches in the playable range. You can show and hide the keyboard by clicking on the keyboard icon in the master control. When you click a key, the keyboard generates MIDI that is received by the currently selected instrument. Clicking and dragging the pitch and mod wheels will generate pitch bin and MIDI CC number one data. Below the wheels are transpose controls that lets you shift the key range up or down. 
The keyboard displays playable ranges in blue and key switches in red by default. Since these colors can be defined in the script editor, the colors may vary depending on the library that you are using. The master editor contains global controls that affect the behavior of instruments in your multi as well as common utility functions. You can show or hide the panel by clicking the master button in the master control. Master volume. This controls the volume of all output and aux channels. The default setting of 0 dB leaves the output levels unaffected. Master tempo. This field displays the current global tempo in beats per minute. It also displays sync options and song position controls. The tempo affects the playback speed of slice loops and all time related controls that can be synchronized to the tempo, such as LFO speed. When running in standalone mode, you can change the master tempo by clicking on the value and entering a new one, or by tapping the tap button. In plug-in mode, Contact will use and follow your song tempo. You can switch this off and set the tempo manually by deactivating the button label EXT. In standalone mode, the EXT button allows you to sync contact to an external MIDI clock. The play and rewind buttons below this control contact's internal song positions. Tap button. Tap this button to adjust the master tempo. Contact will measure the time between taps and adjust the value accordingly. Rhythmic quarter note taps have the best results. Also, when contact is used in plug-in mode, this button only works if EXT is switched off. Metronome. This panel provides a metronome that can be switched on or off by clicking the button labeled on. The knob adjusts the volume of the metronome click. The tempo is displayed by the flashing LED indicator, so turning the volume knob all the way down will give you a visual metronome. In standalone mode, you must click on the play button in the tempo section for the metronome to actually start. Master Tune. This knob allows you to change the master reference tuning from its default of A3 or 440 Hz. Reference Tone. This function provides a reference tone that allows you to tune other instruments as indicated by the master tune. It can be switched on or off by clicking the button labeled on. Contact will play a sine wave at the pitch of the note specified in the selection field. You can, adjust the, you can adjust the volume of the tone with the volume knob. Well, we showed you how to load and create instruments as well as instrument banks, and you got your first look at the master editor. There's a whole lot more, so be sure to tune in later as we go over the browser. Until next time, I go make some music.